In today's video, we're on the pit boss making some hot wings and covering them with scary Larry sauce? Hey, this is Ricer from Dead Broke Barbecue Wisconsin. And if you're new here, we try to help you enhance and amplify your backyard barbecue fun. In today's video, I'm on the pit boss making some hot wings. And I'll tell you what, they are hot. I use Legend Larry's Scary Larry sauce. They're right out of Sheboygan, Wisconsin. I didn't test that sauce before I put it on the wings and it surprised me. That baby's got some heat. Now the way that we like chicken wings is typically grilled. Just a slow and low smoke doesn't taste that great to us. So I'm always trying to get some high heat on them quick and fast because we don't mind a little char on that skin. Now cooking them on the pit boss is pretty simple. You just lay them on the racks and you're gonna have to rotate them because obviously that fire pot is right in the center and that's typically where the most of your heat is gonna be. So you just gotta move them around a little bit so they can all kind of finish at the same time. Now there's nothing wrong with overcooking a wing a little bit. I always do. I always want to see them right around 180 degrees, maybe even a little hotter. They don't really dry out and they're always good. But you just don't want to get over 200 degrees on them, so watch your temperatures, use your thermopen, and you'll be fine. So grab your pail of peppers, Pete. We're gonna make some hot wings. In today's video, we're cooking up some simple chicken wings on the Pit Boss 1100. Now, I've told you before that my boys love chicken wings and it's a great snack for them when they get home from school. And in this cook, we're gonna be using some Izzy Q chicken rub. He sent this to me a couple months ago. We tried it out and we love it on chicken. I'm gonna post his contact information in the comments below. So we're just gonna simply just start coating these up a little bit. We're not using any salt and pepper. It's got enough salt and pepper in the rub. We're just using some Izzy Q's today. Now we'll flip them over. Now we'll go ahead and coat the other side. It's a really good combo for chicken that he's got in here. Our wings are all seasoned up. Let's head out to the pit boss and get these under some smoke. Now in a couple other videos, I've talked about how I spray up with just regular canola oil, my heat deflector. Kind of gives you that seasoned cast iron look. We just spray it down. Give it a little coating. Always seems to burn off right above the fire pot. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn on our pit boss and turn it right to 350. We'll start getting our grates back in. And I always leave the lid open when I'm getting that white smoke. Once it starts to clear up, then I go ahead and close it. But it gives you a good time to go ahead and clean up your pit. I always wanna wash off the sides a little bit. You know, it's gonna get dirty, it's gonna get greasy, but it's always good to give it a little bit of loving, tender care. It might last a little longer. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. Now on the pit boss, I'm not too thrilled with these racks. I wish they were just stainless steel bars. They clean up easier. These seem to be harder to clean in the diamonds. So typically I just use aluminum foil to clean these up. Scrape them up best you can. Rotate it a little bit. Now let's get these wings on the rack so they start getting some smoke. Close up the lid and set a timer for five minutes. We're gonna rotate these because in the center where the fire pot is, those wings get pretty hot. There's sugar in this rub and that skin's gonna get charred up, but we like it that way. Don't be afraid, the char is the flavor in that skin in this house. Okay, so let's go ahead and check these. Yep, they're starting to get nice and charred. Let's start rotating them around a little bit. Start flipping them over. Get them on this side. Get the ones that were on the outside, we're gonna get them on the inside. Again, right over this fire pot, they're gonna get black. Now you're gonna want a good glove if you're gonna be grabbing these with your hands. Close up the lid and let's set a timer for another five minutes. And the sauce that we're gonna use today is right out of Sheboygan, Wisconsin. It's called the Legend Larry's. We're gonna use this legendary Scary Larry sauce. They do have a restaurant in Green Bay, so if you're ever up in that area, check them out. Pretty good. Cody from the Meat Box suggested I try this. We're gonna give it a whirl. Now, if you watch my other videos, you see that I use this little cast iron pot to warm up my sauce because I don't like to put the sauce on cold. I typically go ahead and warm it up in here and then I throw it in a bowl and toss the wings. And I go ahead and pour my sauce right in there 
to warm it up. Five minute timer went off and we're gonna go ahead and start checking these temps. You're gonna rotate them around. You're gonna find some that are done. You're gonna find some that are gonna still need a little bit more cooking time. What I'm checking for is to see where my hot ones and I'm gonna move them over to the left. It's 180. They don't hurt a wing to get it cooked up a little hotter than 175. This one needs a lot more. See where we're at here. A little bit longer. It's running pretty clear on this one. 177, 180, 176, 163, 180. Now whenever you're gonna grab anything with cast iron on it, make sure that you got a big heavy duty glove to move it over. 175, 176, move it over a little bit. Getting there, it's done. Yeah, it needs a little bit more on that part right there. 170, 80, still a little bit more on that part. Just these four left now. Yeah, it's much better, 175, 182, four, five. Okay, so we're down to our last two wings. Let's check them out. 174, pretty darn close on that one. 173. All right, I think this is gonna be done. I'll grab the wings and we'll throw them in this stainless steel pot. Get them all in there. And now, put on our grill grate glove. Now we'll go ahead and grab the hot sauce. Pour it right over the top. Get it in there. Smell the pepper in it. And we're gonna go ahead and just give them some toss. Give them a toss or two. Let these rest a little bit and then we're gonna dig into them. Okay, so let's give one of these wings a test. Now, like I say, I like the skin nice and charred up. It just tastes better to me. We do have other ones that aren't quite as crispy. Here it goes, it's gonna get messy. Nice. It's got some heat to it, that's for sure. I can taste Izzy's rub in there, perfect. You can see meat's pulling right off the bone. Now, if you like a real peppery, spicy sauce, this Scary Larry stuff is gonna make you drink some beer, that's for sure. Now you can see in there, no bloody veins. Perfect. It's spicy, but good. It's a great combo, very good. I mean, you talk about a party wing, this will get people to party, that's for sure. Scary Larry's, it's a little scary, but more the heat, the better they eat. Most of the time, right? Now it took a total of about 20 minutes to cook these wings. The first set, right above the fire pot, were done in about 10 minutes. The rest of them, yeah, you had to move them around. Took that extra 10, but 20 minutes, hot wings, perfect. I'm gonna need some beer to wash this down, for sure. Now those wings turned out perfectly the way that we like them. Now the only mistake that I made is that I didn't test that sauce before I bit into that wing, and it caught me by surprise. Stick around to the end and you'll see it in the bloopers. I'm just gonna blame that I had too big of a bite and it got stuck in my throat. Now I wanna thank Izzy for sending me that chicken rub. It's fantastic. And I'm gonna put a couple links in the comments below so you guys can check it out. And I also wanna thank Cody at the Meat Block for suggesting to use that Scary Larry sauce. I tell ya, it's really good, but you better be ready for some party wings and you better have some alcoholic beverages to wash it down. Or if you don't drink any alcohol, have something cold because it's gonna catch you and it's gonna bite you a little bit. And now it's time to read some comments from last week's video. Cooking with CJ says, fine looking birdie right there, Ricer. Good stuff. Well, thanks CJ, I really appreciate it. And I enjoy cooking turkeys. I just don't do it a lot because it puts me to sleep. Now, Cooking with CJ is a great channel. He does a lot of the same things that all of us do. Go check him out if you haven't already. And on Thursday nights, CJ and Kent run a barbecue live stream. Check him out, it's great. You get to learn things and laugh and meet other YouTubers. Perfect, right? I think I'm gonna be on there sometime in February. So hurry up and subscribe so you don't miss me there. And speaking of Kent, the next comment comes from Daddy Dutch Barbecue. Kent says, wait a minute, you're from Wisconsin and you're drinking a Corona? Shake my head. I gave you more credit than that, LOL. Great looking bird and go pack go. Well, thank you, Kent, and I had a great time cooking that bird. And yeah, I like Coronas. I'm addicted to the lime and don't let anybody else tell you anything different. I just like that lime, that's it. And it goes good in that Corona. And I've been drinking Wisconsin beer for many years. You know I am 50 now. And of course, Go Pack Go 
And if you guys don't like the Packers, it's okay. It's all right. You don't know what you're missing. Now, Kent over at Daddy Dutch has a great channel, so go over and check him out. He's very funny, and he's kind of an inventor. He makes up his own little gadgets, and I love seeing that. You can tell that guy's got some experience in the world. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss our next video. I'm gonna be honest with you, for every thumbs up, a vegan sheds a salty tear. Perfect. So thumbs up and don't be afraid to leave a comment. Leave a comment and you'll get a response. Especially right now, I'm not that big of a channel. I got time. I got time to say hi and thank you. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Take the wings in. That looks amazing. They're very spicy. I don't want them. I don't like them. I know. I know you're just a little girl and I have to well, wipe I, your face I, I the got, whole time. I got this shit off. <laughs> I have to treat you like a, like a baby, but, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna need some beer. We might drink, hurry up. <gasps> Why is this thing shutting off? What's going on? <laughs> and of course, go pack go. I'm sorry, Viking fans. I saw a tweet, and your trophy case is still empty. Oops. <laughs>